So let's welcome in our resident hockey expert, Ian Furness. <laughs> Ian, Carey Price, he's available. He's among the best goalkeepers in the league. He was in the Stanley Cup Finals this season, but he's 33 years old. His contract calls for $10.5 million for the next five seasons, the most expensive goalie in the league right now. So will he be the Kraken's goalkeeper this season? And add to that, Aaron, uh, his wife uh, is from Kennewick, went to Wazoo. He played for the Tri-City Americans over there, and they spend some of their summertime here in the state of Washington. So let's connect the dots. He is arguably one of the top two or three goalies in the league right now, still today, even though he's been around for a long time. Uh, and he gives you a chance to win immediately, and he gives you a chance to win every night. But that contract is awful, awful daunting. That's a big, big number next to a name. So my counter to that is this. If he is healthy, Ian, Russell Wilson's taking up 18% of the Seahawks salary cap this season. Carey Price, who is on the ice the entire game, would only be taking up 13% of the Kraken's cap if they spend the maximum amount. If he's that good, why not splurge and give your team a chance to win right away? Hey, you're preaching to the choir, man. I, I, I would agree with you. I, I just think if you can get a number one guy of his caliber and he's willing to come here, I think that's the other thing. They'd have to have a conversation with him and make sure he's willing to leave Montreal where he's played his entire career. Carey Price is the only NHL player with an annual salary averaging 10 million plus that has ever been in a playoff series win, forward defenseman or goalie. So that number does come with it a little bit of a risk. If it's not Price, chances are it is Chris Drieger. What can you tell us about him? Never been a uh, number one guy all the time. Did also, by the way, play for the Tri-City Americans for a time before, as well as Calgary and the WHL. But he's never been a number one net miner. He's an unrestricted free agent. Seattle would have to negotiate with him right now, which they could do. And they have that window exclusively coming up. I think he's going to end up in Seattle. I'm just not sure who he's going to be paired with, Aaron. Now that the full list of unprotected players is out for us, let's go through some of the names the Kraken might be targeting to pick in Wednesday's expansion draft. Let's start with the forwards, Ian. Well, there are some big-time names there, and there are some names that certainly could make you an instant competitive, maybe even a playoff team. I'd start with Yanni Gord from Tampa Bay. He gives you a number one option on the front line. Uh, really good player, plays both ways. In other words, offensive and defensive-minded. There's two guys I really like, Nino Niederreiter and Ryan Johansson, Carolina and Nashville, respectively. Both played their junior hockey in Portland. They were actually line mates with the Winterhawks. Reunite those two and get some of that magic back. Uh, Jakob Voracek for Philadelphia, $8.2 million contract, pretty hefty tag. His best season arguably came with the Flyers, with Dave Haxtell as the head coach. And how about defensemen? Well, one of the things you got to understand, I think, that, that, that people look at, finding center icemen hard and finding good defensemen, especially guys that shoot from the right side, really difficult as well. Troy Stetcher is a right-shot defenseman for Detroit. He comes with a very low price tag, $1.7 million, right-shot defenseman, veteran guy, played in the World Championships for Canada this year. To me, he would be a priority and a big-time priority for Seattle. Brendan Dillon from Washington, former Thunderbird, veteran presence. Would really kind of give you a top pairing and a, a presence back there, as well as Calvin DeHaan from Chicago. Mark Giordano from Calgary is their captain. Uh, he's got a decent price tag of 6.7, but he is getting closer to 40 than he is to 30. So he's kind of at the, uh, the back nine of his career right now. But he would give you instant leadership in that locker room. And a guy that I think would come into play. We're talking about Ryan Johansson and Nino Niederreier. Well, Jake Bean is a guy that Carolina has, and I would be a little leery of him. I think he's a really up-and-coming defenseman, but you can only have one guy from each team unless you cut a deal. Jake Bean was a guy that was drafted by Ron Francis. I alluded to it before. The salary cap this season is set at $81.5 million. They have to spend at least $49 million. How close to the maximum do you think the Kraken are going to go? I think they're going to get probably in the 70, 70, well, probably around the 70 range. You want to give yourself some flexibility. If this team's as good as we think it could be, Aaron, you want to have cap flexibility as the season goes on if you want to make a move and upgrade. We didn't even talk about it, but there's a lot of talk about some big-name players out there. Gabriel Landeskog from Colorado, unrestricted free agent. That would be a big price tag, but that, again, would make you a really good hockey team right off the get-go if you could wrestle him out of Colorado. Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko from St. Louis, same thing. He's still under contract, but he and the Blues are not happy with one another right now. Looks like he may be trade bait. And there's a P.K. Subban from the Devils, a $9 million cap hit. That's a big cap hit, but Subban checks a lot of boxes, leadership, does a ton in the community, gives you a little bit of grit and toughness on the back end. So I'll be honest with you. I mean, I've been going through this all day looking through this, and I could come up with another 40 names for you, and that's what Ron Francis and his group have challenged ahead of them because they have all these names now, 
We gave you some, but it's going to be a really interesting Wednesday and really probably a really interesting next two or three days because they can negotiate with guys that are unrestricted free agents. Well, finally, Ian, my most important question. Do you have access to a pronunciation guide? Because I'm going to need one this season. You know, uh, after doing junior hockey in the Western Hockey League for a lot of years in the AHL, I, uh, I can do the Eastern European names pretty good. We'll see how it goes during the course of the year. You and I can work together through that. It's a little more challenging than, say, the National Football League is for us. Yeah, looking forward to that. Ian Furness joining us most of this week as we count down to the Kraken expansion draft. And then what do you know? It's Seahawks training camp time. Busy summer, Ian. We'll see you soon. Okay.